At the start of every new season, th there's almost always an influx of people that I haven't seen anime getting drawn into the genre because, uh, you know, uh, some new hit anime that they saw a piece of or, or you know, th their friends saw and decided to recommend to them. And they'll think that anime will bring them, uh, you know, it'll bring up some of the best moments of their life, that, that they're going on a new journey in genre consumerism. They could be right for all I know, but the greatest advice I could give to all of them is run. Run away as fast as you can. You know, you might think that anime is some sort of some sort of golden experience, but you couldn't be farther from the truth. I remember my first time watching anime. It was a Naruto episode. You know, the, the one of the tuning exams where Naruto had to face this guy named Neji. And this Neji dude he did this thing called the 8 Trigram 64 Pops, and what it did was that it made Naruto, or anyone he used it on, unable to use any attacks against him because of the, the chakra points that he attacked or pressed. And the whole time this man's explaining it, I'm over here like a fucking retard, just jotting down notes like, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, them boys at school, they, they won't know what hit them. Ain't nobody gonna mess with me no more, and laugh as much as you want. But this was in middle school where, you know, there, there were still people that thought Santa Claus existed, and even crazier people that thought uh, th their dad would come back from the store. So I'm practicing this technique, and once I finally mastered it, I was so confident. <laughs> I went to school with my head held high into the clouds. And the whole time I'm walking through the hallway, I'm thinking in my head, just mess with me. Please, just, one of you thugs, just, just mess with me. See what's about to happen. Funny enough, no one messed with me at all at school that day. But I also went to this after school program that was a few minutes away from my house. And there was this one big dude in a gym, right? Which, by the way, <laughs> he's in jail now. <laughs> But he was pushing my buttons, right? How dare he not, not try to pick a fight with me while I had the 8 trigram 64 pounds? He was just standing there, j just minding his own business. So I started roasting him, his shoes, his clothes, telling him about the, the sexual experiences I had with his mother. And then he said something back about, you know, how big my lips were, saying I, I could use them as, as a parachute or something like that. And normally, you know, normally I let it slide. Back when I was a little bitch, I, I let it slide. But today, no, 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 not today. Today I had the eight trigrams, 64 pounds. So I readied my chakra, and I was like, eight trigrams, 64 pounds. That man picked me up and slammed my ass, all right? The, the Naruto stuff didn't work. And, and while I was knocked out on the floor getting my cheeks tenderized, I could only blame one thing, anime. Anime will give you a terrible impression of life, right? For half of my life, it gave me main character syndrome, where I thought that everyone in the world were just, uh, you know, side characters getting ready to acknowledge my greatness. Anytime I heard some tragedy happen in the world, like, like let's say uh, an, an earthquake destroyed some part of California, I think, wow, so that's the type of stuff that happens to people that aren't the main characters. Anime told me lies about relationships, that I could get any girl that I went after, that, I, that you know, I, I would bang all the shy kawaii girls in my class I had a crush on. Needless to say, none of that was true. Anime, yeah, yeah, anime is one of the biggest reasons you've got dudes beating it to women that aren't even real. And by the way, this includes me. The moment I saw Orihime and Bleach, I knew I had some research to do. Anime is not your friend. You might enjoy it, but at what cost? What cost? I, you know, I get it. You know, you want to see the crisp animation of Cowboy Bebop. You want to go on a journey with pirates to find treasure. You might even just want to see someone copy Hunter Hunter, concept for concept. But are you willing to sacrifice for it? Yeah, I didn't think so. So don't even think about it, all right? Get your head out of the clouds and return back to reality. Because because the moment you get even a taste of the joy of anime, you know, actually, one second. Yo, yo, what's good? Ain't no way! The new season of My Hero Academia out! Oh, I'm about to watch that right now, bro! You know what I'm saying? Yeah! I, I, bro, I'll catch you later. Yeah, I, I'll catch you later. Because the moment you get even a taste of the joy of anime, you'll never want to stop. You'll keep watching more and more. And one day, you might even turn into one of those. A manga reader. 
Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been wanting to support the channel because of some, you know, some fun stuff that's been happening lately. But, you know, if you do want to help the channel, I don't have like a Patreon or anything, but you can join the channel as a member and you get like these cool badges and stuff whenever you comment. And, you know, when I live stream, I'll try to at least live stream every Friday and Saturday night around 8 p.m., maybe more, you know. But yeah, that's it. Uh, have a good night. Bye.